Hey, hello, it's Wednesday, April 15th. Uh, most years we'd be all consumed about paying taxes today, uh, but there's extensions all around. Uh, so there you go. I'm Pastor Jim, my wife, Pastor Kathy and I are co-pastors at Christ Covenant Church. Uh, we're in the backyard of the parsonage right now. Uh, yesterday, uh, rather on Monday, when I uh, did the little devotional, it was raining and pouring like crazy, and it's such a beautiful day out right now, I thought I'd come out. Uh, a couple things. Um, today I listened to a uh, podcast, not a podcast, but a devotional called Pray As You Go. On these devotionals that we've been doing, I've been usually uh, using a devotional from someone else, maybe the Early Desert Fathers or the Covenant Home Altar or the Moravian Daily Texts, William Barclay, you know, folks like that. Today I'd like to talk a little bit about the one I listened to this morning from Pray As You Go. It's an app, or if you look online, you can just type in Pray As You Go, and you'll find that as well. <clears throat> uh, a bunch of Irish people, so you got cool accents on that. Uh, this morning, it started out with some uh, music from Tizé, the Tizé community in France. Uh, these devotionals usually start with some music, they have scripture for the day, they have application, they have prayer, and so it's a wonderful thing to do. If you haven't looked at that, I would really encourage you to do it. This morning's devotional on Pray As You Go, and this is the one I'm sharing with you today, uh, came from the text from The Road to Emmaus. I love that text when Jesus appeared to two people along this road uh, on, on that first Easter uh, day, in the evening of that day. And so I'm going to read for us today Luke 24, 13 through 35, and this is from the New Living Translation. That same day, two of Jesus' followers were walking to the village of Emmaus, seven miles from Jerusalem. As they walked along, they were talking about everything that had happened. As they talked and discussed these things, Jesus himself suddenly came and, and began walking with them. But God kept them from recognizing him. He asked, what are you discussing so intently as you walk along? They stopped short, sadness written across their faces. Then one of them, Clopas, replied, you must be the only one in Jerusalem who hasn't heard about all the things that have happened there in the last few days. What things? Jesus answered. Well, the things that happened to Jesus, the man from Nazareth, they said. He was a prophet who did powerful miracles. But our leading priests and the other religious leaders handed him over to be condemned to death, and they crucified him. We had hoped he was the Messiah who had come to rescue Israel. This all happened three days ago. Then some women from our group of his followers were at his tomb early this morning, and they came back with an amazing report. They said that his body was missing, and they had seen angels who told them Jesus is alive. Some of our men ran out to see, and sure enough, his body was gone, just as the women had said. Men believe women. Then Jesus said to them, you foolish people, you find it so hard to believe all that the prophets wrote in scriptures. Wasn't it clearly predicted that the Messiah would have to suffer all these things before entering his glory? Then Jesus took them through the writings of Moses and all the prophets, explaining from all the scriptures the things concerning himself. By this time they were nearing Emmaus and the end of their journey. Jesus acted as if he was going on, but they begged him, stay with us this night since it is getting late. So he went home with them and they sat down to eat. He took bread and blessed it. Then he broke it and gave it to them. Suddenly their eyes were opened and they recognized him. At that moment he disappeared. They said to each other, didn't our hearts burn within us as he talked with us on the road and explained the scriptures to us. And within the hour, they were on their way back to Jerusalem. There they found the eleven disciples and the others who had been gathered with them, who said, The Lord really has risen. He has appeared to Peter. Then 
the two from Emmaus told their story of how Jesus had appeared to them as they were walking along the road and how they had recognized him as he, as he was breaking the bread. Just one real quick point. They talked about this a little bit on Pray As You Go. I want to talk about it too. Did not our hearts burn within us? Folks, where are your hearts burning? To who uh, is God directing you? To what action is God calling you? How is the Lord working in your heart? Where are your hearts burning as well? And so uh, just a couple prayer items. Um, we're continuing to pray for the Bevins, Kathy and Claude. Claude uh, is starting to undergo some procedures for uh, some of the cancers that he has. Uh, Pastor Kathy uh, had her, her uh, uh, procedure last Friday the, um, for her lymphoma. We're keeping on praying for them. Uh, and so let's just say a quick prayer. God, for Kathy and Claude Bevan, uh, for Pastor Kathy, and for so many others that are facing health difficulties and challenges, we give this day to you. You are the great physician. We entrust this day to you. We thank you as well for this beautiful day that is today. And we pray, God, that as our hearts burn within us, as the Holy Spirit is working in our hearts, we would respond, just as these two on the road to Emmaus responded. So we give you thanks for this day, praying in Jesus' name, amen. Hey folks, as always, uh, feel free to share this if you want. Uh, be blessed and don't forget to uh, receive a blessing as well.